Good, you did have sick. Why don't you relax while we train, baby? Okay. Good. All right. Good, 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 good. Hi, we got Pepper with us. If you haven't already, watch Pepper's previous videos where she freaks out on us. Yes. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. Oh, crazy. Oh, get, get in there and I'm gonna help you. So look, right now she's not under any command. I'm just watching, gauging her reactions. But she is behaving, for the most part, pretty confidently, yes? I like it. She's not getting nervous. She's not running off when she heard that postal truck. Good, good, good. So that's why I'm gonna be saying the word good a lot. And I'm gonna be giving her commands today. Good, good, good. Watch, look how she's already at my side. It's become so easy to put the training leash and collar on her. And look, she doesn't freak out with the le nips or any of that, okay? So I'm gonna be employing nips and bites. So a nip, good sit, look what she did. So a nip is just a quick little bite that dogs use to herd one another, H-E-R-D, to move dogs in and out of the way, good stay. I'm gonna be using the good word theory. So you see how she just noticed that butterfly didn't move? That would be a time I would reward that in action by saying good stay. Her family's picking her up today, so we're gonna get footage of that as well. So you can see and compare the difference between my handling, their handling, and how well the dog does for them as opposed to me. Heel, good, sit. So look, if she doesn't put her butt on the ground, good. Oh, she did it. So two options there, yes. I have option number one of giving a quick nip, which would translate to the dog as a punishment, as a correction, spanking. The other option I have would be to apply constant pressure, which would translate to the dog as a reminder, okay? And look, she's distracted by all the stuff going out there. Good stay. So hopefully she doesn't comply so I can show you the differences. So watch, I'm going to start off by reminding her. So this would be akin to like being at church with your kid, sitting at the pew while the preacher is preaching and your kid rises, stands up from his seat and you kind of like put your hand on their shoulder and gently press them back down, yes? Heel? Good, good, good. So this is akin to that, right? Just kind of a gentle push back down on their shoulder or so to get them to sit back down. Well, she did it. Dang it. That's a good thing. Okay, so I would have applied pressure had she not done it, okay? Now, a nip would translate as a punishment. This would be like kid rising from the pew and you swatting them. Swatting their knee, swatting their shoulder, jabbing them in the rib, or swatting their face. Right. Correction. A nip. Heel. Good heel. She's distracted. So look. Good. Dang, she's good. Good stay. Good sit. Good stay. She knows the leash is on the ground. Hopefully she gets up. I need this dog to mess up. Good stay. But she's watching people. People are watching her. She got up. Look. She's not nervous. She just, she just messed up. Good. So watch how I handled it. I just applied pressure. Now because she's likely to stand up again, I'm going to keep the leash in my hand. Hopefully she stands up. And the moment she stands up, I'm going to apply a bite. Look, not a nip. A full bite. At which I hold steady until the dog puts her butt on the ground. Then I let go of the pressure. See how I dropped the leash without making it obvious? Good stay. Look, she got up again. So look. I'm going to bring her back a little bit. Good stay. Good. Repeating the process. Now I'm going to come back to her. I'm going to pause for three seconds. I'm going to grab the leash like this. Heel. And I started to walk. You see this? Now look. She's messing up, so I gave her a little nip. When you're healing, you want to use nips. You don't want to bite, so just a nip. And you want to keep walking. You want to keep your momentum. If you stop walking, you're miscommunicating. Look, that got, she got distracted by that sound. Good. The dog's barking. Good heal. Sit. Good sit. Stay. Good stay. So we're hoping that she stands up. She's going to get nervous when those dogs barking. But Hexic's not nervous. Oh. So I always like to work this dog around a calm dog like Savo or Hexic. Good. Because she should be feeding off this dog's energy. Good stay. Hexic's not nervous. Good stay. So look, again, over and over. Good stay. Now she's going home today, despite me wanting her to stay for another week or so. But mom and dad have the power of veto. Good, you good. And look, she might be ready. Good stay. Heel. Oh, you see? Now, one other thing, yes, you want to avoid making bobblehead syndrome happen. Look at the minutes. What I mean by this is if every noise you hear or sound you hear draws your attention and makes you turn your neck, then guess what? Your dog is going to be very similar and you're going to have bobblehead syndrome on your hands. So I ignore everything. I try just to focus on the dog. Okay? Good. Sit. Pretty. Good. Stay. 
Oh, they're making her nervous. Good stay. Pretty, huh? Awesome, huh? Good stay. Hopefully she messes up again. If you're not already following us on Instagram, it should that be. Way she walks now. See, she walks more like little Conor McGregor. Look at her. You see, look, look, look how she's playing. Good stay. Who? She got up. All right, watch how I'm gonna handle it. Good. So look, I'm gonna grab the leash. I fucked up by taking so long, but selfish plug was calling. Good, good, good. Good stay. Look. Now I'm waiting for her to stand up. So I can time my pressure properly. Look. See? Every time she gets up, pressure is going to be applied. I'm not fooling around anymore. Good stay. Good. Pretty girl. Look how loose my leash is. Heel. Sit. So pretty. Good stay. All right. Pretty. So beautiful. Oh. So look. Back over here. Good. She knows. Good stay. She's got to be more stubborn than this little one. This is a little stubborn. Oh, she's a stubborn little dog. Look, she knows. See? Good. Next time, I'm going to keep the leash in my hands. So, this time, I keep the leash in my hands. Every time, look. See? See? I'm not mad. Just very matter of fact. Good. Hopefully, I can trick her and make her think I dropped the leash. You see? See how I did that? Good stay. So pretty. Look at my leash. Heel. Good heel. Good, good, good. Look. Good heel. See my nips there at that time? Good heel. She's getting distracted. Pretty girl. Good. Look, I don't have to tell her. She knows. Good. Stay. And again, look, made her think I dropped the leash, but I didn't. Want her to get up. She learns through this. She doesn't learn by excelling. If I take her inside my building there, she's going to do amazing. She won't fall open there. But guess what? That doesn't help us. I need her to fall open. Good, so I can get her like that. Yeah, good stay. Look at that. Amazing, huh? Again, look. Most trainers would go back to her at this point or call her to them. You don't want to call them to her, to you. I'm going to teach them a life lesson that you're always going to come back to them so they don't get anxiety. She knows I'm going to come back to her. Look, but she fought. Oh. Keep the leash in my hands this time because she fought. Oh. So look, hopefully. Awesome, huh? Heel. So pretty. So pretty, little dog. Good. Now I'm going to make her win. Good stay. Good stay. Good, good, good. Next session will be with mom and daddy. Good, good, good. Go banana. So pretty, baby. Good, 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 Hexic. So pretty, babe. You're so calm. Good, good, good. Hexic. You know your name means? Good witch. Hello. Good, good, good. She knows her mom and dad are here because prior to this, Cranberry messed up and did the opposite of what I asked him to do, which was to give her a potty break and not to bring her out to see her folks. But he spoiled it. He came out. We were unprepared. We were going over some issues with her and we'll see yeah so she knows her around the corner she recognizes the truck so it's going to be awesome and i was expecting her to yell but i don't think she's going to be yelling and she knows they're here see so look she knows that's mom and dad so we're just going to gauge her reaction good 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 okay we're not going to get near her yet I hope we just want to see how she deals with it good 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 so let me tell you guys something, yes? She loves going on the leash and collar. She like runs up to you, puts her butt on the ground. She loves the train. I'm gonna tell you the truth. She probably likes training more than she likes playing with the other dogs. She loves it. And look how excited she is, yes? Good, good, good. If she's not crying, good, good, good. Now notice how every time she comes around me, I'm rotating, yes? I would be doing this even if we were off leash together. You see, every time she comes around, I'm gonna rotate, every time. Good, good, good. So pretty. I know, dude. <laughs> Oh, see, Anthony, she forgot about you already. I you. you see what I mean? <laughs> you see? She. Guess what, Anthony? I think you're right. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm the new dad. I'm the new daddy, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. No, it was. I can't believe it. All right. So Dad thinks that she's gonna forget about him because I wanted her to sit. I wanted her to stay a little bit longer, but Dad. 
dad can't stop crying. He just, he's just missing his baby, huh? Just missing your baby. So look, it, you know how I heard his heartbreak when she sat down and looked up at me right now. He said she doesn't love me anymore. Is all that from stress or what? Oh what? Yeah, or well, from laying on the tile probably. Good, good, good. So watch. Oh no, I know where it's from. Maggie licking her. She's always going for Maggie to lick her. I have so much video, but I just said she, she does the same thing with Hank. Huh? She does the same thing with Hank. With Hank? Damn it! That's why. Man, I gotta show that off. Hold on, I gotta show that off. Look at this. From Maggie licking her. See, Dad knows a baby. I see what you're talking about. She almost looks like a parrot. <laughs> right? She almost looks like a little parrot. Yeah, man. That's from Maggie. I just sent y'all a video this morning, didn't I? Yeah, I see. And, and listen, if Maggie walks away from her, she goes and gets underneath her and wants more of it. Yeah. She does that with Hank. She like, does like, Kung Fu fighting on her back, yeah? Hank, Hank has a thing for ears. Oh, I, know, I knew that about Hank, yes. Yeah, so, so we watched that so with he Hank. He like, actually holds her down and like, licks her ears. Yeah, Savo had an ear infection when he was here. He kept trying to lick Savo's ears. Uh, oh, He Hank. loved it. Yeah, man, Savo. Yeah. Savo was so stoked. He's just like, oh, yeah. whatever, dude. Yeah? yeah? All right, but look how good she's doing. Yeah, this is the dog that hated the leash before. Yeah. And I know that for a fact. Like I said to you guys, if we just came out here, she'd freak out and start screaming just if she saw a car or anything. And I haven't given her any commands. For real, I haven't told her to do anything. But look, if I touch her and we walk, good, good, good. All I'm going to do is say the word good to her. Good, good, good. Look, see that little nip? Just a quick little nip. I don't want to choke her. That's why I had issue with the chain that you brought. Look, look, look. We don't want to choke her. She understands this type of communication. Look, good. When I come to a stop, pretty. If I don't touch her, she knows she doesn't supposed to get up. She knows better. Look, she got up. She fucked up. It's okay. Watch what I'm going to do. If she gets up, I'm expecting her to stand up because there's a lot happening right now. Mom and dad are here, so I would hold the leash above her head. If I don't hold the leash above her head, I'm ready for her to stand up. When I come to her, I'm gonna pause for three seconds. One, two, three, and then look how I'm gonna grab the leash. Good. And then she knows that we can walk. Look, you see that noise over there? Watch, I'm gonna take advantage. Hopefully she doesn't do anything. Look, she messed up. Cause she got so caught up with there. So now again, heal. By herself. Even though she heard that racket. Oh, she messed up right there and I messed up too. We both fucked up at the same time, okay? Because she got up and then I started moving. So look, I'm going to try to catch her off guard. I'm going to try to catch her off guard. This might make her scream, okay? So watch. Oh, damn. She's too quick. Oh, look, look, look. She's looking at daddy. See, she still loves you. See that? She doesn't get distracted by anything except her daddy. Except daddy's love. Look. She don't want to see it because y'all over here looking at making googly faces at her. So look. Look, she wants to go. You see? Look, dad excited. This is the first time somebody's come to pick up their dog and they're excited for the dog's messing up. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he's okay. He's excited. He's ready for his baby. So look, see how excited she is? She wants to run to you. She doesn't mess up this much. I'm about to run to her. Yeah. <laughs> so again, every time she gets up without my permission, I'm not angry with her. I'm not pissed off or nothing. There's, I'm not even saying the word N-O. I treat the word N-O like a bad word. I don't do it. She's a baby. She's still learning. Look, she just has to learn to be still. Look, every time. I wouldn't be saying the word look if you guys weren't here. If this was just she and I just being in the silence, just every time she got up, just very matter of fact, do this. Look, every time. That's it. When she starts staying still, I'm going to try to make it happen myself. See? We want to grow through this. Good. Heal. Look, she's going to mess up. Look. Oh, unbelievable that she did it. She said my foot a little bit first, but that's okay. Look how mom's mom making eyes at her, so it makes her want to stand up. <laughs> and that's okay. But listen, this is a good exercise for you to practice together. Have one of you making googly eyes while the other person is handling her. I'm going to try to catch her off guard. Watch my nip. Yes, look. Heel. Look, I'm going to turn. Look, look. You see? Three, three quick little nips. It doesn't scare her. Look, look. Look at her little pep in her step. She's not scared. Look at that tail. Look, like a, look at that. Beautiful. Like we're in the show ring. Look, look, look. Pop. Watch this. She doesn't stop. Look, look. Damn it, I was about to pop the shit out of her. Pow! She don't need it though. Go bananas. Pretty girl. Okay, she's gonna jump all over them and they don't give a fuck. Pee on mama's purse. Pee on mama's purse. Put a little excited. gold in mama's purse. <laughs> oh, no, there, there comes the gold. Leave it. Oh, dang it, she's all tangled up. Oh my god. Leave it. Pepperoni, pepperoni. Hi, Hi. Here, everybody calls her Fepa. No, 
Pepperoni. <laughs> no, pepperoni. She loves pepperonis. Pepperoni. The olive olive pepperoni. pepperoni. Going crazy. Hey, look at you. You're going to take it up. So you see that leash? Look how thin that leash is, yes? Yeah? Yeah. Just a nice, same thing I would use with hanging cocoa. Shit, just a nice thin little leash. She's excited. We haven't seen her this excited, to be honest with you. So this is the most excited we've seen her, for sure. But this is the thing, is I wanted her to stay until she got to this point of excitement. You see what I mean? She didn't do any of this jumping on us yet. None of this. See it like that? She's only doing this because I'm here. But like at the house? Yeah, like just on all your guests? She was just doing it, yeah. Oh, she jumped but on me a whole lot. I, I never, see, she stopped doing it to me. Yeah. Because I would... But she does it to, it to everybody else. But I never corrected her about it. Sure. With other people. And I, I wouldn't correct it either. And I would I, just, I would just ignore it. And, and, and keep in mind that everything that I'm doing with the leash, when I'm applying pressure, those aren't corrections. Those are, those are just, those are suggestions to sit, like with pressure. Yeah. Now, now, if I yank on that thing when she jumps, and yeah, that's a correction. But I wasn't doing all that. You saw how she was. Every time she got up, it just soft. And I want to feather in and feather. And you've done this before, yeah, so I know. I your remember. feathering is going to be good. You see what I mean? I'm just feathering. Yeah. We just, we hadn't even got in the train. No, no, of course yeah. not. Yes, I mean, there's been a lot happening. But you get what I'm, and again, I'm not, I'm not blaming anything. I'm just saying, like, no, just very matter of fact, just. Old right. And, and I, that's, I love that, though. I love, I love that. And keep in mind that I haven't had any dog in the last month with people not be aware of that, where they think she's not spoiled, they think she's been abused. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the worst thing about it is, like, I got that picture you guys looking like psychopaths <laughs> on, on the picture where I picked her up, the one, the one she sent me as a thumbnail. Y'all sitting there on the bench in front of the house <laughs> with her in your arms. And I'm out there putting schizophrenic puppy removed from home. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it made look like psychopaths, yeah. <laughs> Think about that, man. So everybody thinks this dog's been abused. Why? I know she hasn't been. I know personally. This dog is spoiled. Oh, yeah. To, I mean, it's spoiled it's, rotten. It's spoiled rotten. She's a hellcat. People don't believe that at home. You know how many times she hit cranberry in the testicles? How many times she jumped on me, like hit me hard? But like, she don't care. Look, she's crazy, dude. Yeah. But here she hasn't gotten to that point yet. So here she's still kind of like kind of somewhat well behaved, but she's starting to act up. And look, she's smart. Like, of course. But listen, I'm, may I tell you the truth? She needed another week of acclimation before she started being her real self. And that's what causes change to happen. She just needs, and listen, it's a testament to her, the fact that she's coming out of her shell, despite the fact that we've been putting a leash and training collar and discipline onto her, shows that we were doing the right thing. She's so easy about kenneling up. And then, you know, she went through the stages where she was in the kennel shivering. Then went through a stage where she had to go into the kennel with Maggie or Esau, you know, codependent. Then she got to the point where she wanted her own damn kennel and didn't want the other dogs in that kennel. Would fight for her, would fight the entrance. And that's good. And she understood, like, another thing that we would do with her that other training companies don't do is we would let her hang out. And whenever she would walk up to a kennel door, we would let that dog out. She's smart. Kind of like that thing that they want me to advertise. Remember I told you about the feeder? Oh, yeah. They walk up to it, they get near it, and boom. So I started using the same principle. So she'd walk up, any kennel that she walked up to, boom, I let her out. And she always, always went to Maggie because she'd like to go lay by Maggie. So as soon as she got near Maggie, I'd open. So she realized, oh shit, every time I go to one of these, he lets the dog out. So she's selective about the dog she wants to be out with her. If only those selected few are out with her, she's super confident. But if I let a dog out that makes her uncomfortable, like Higgins, who's not mean, by the way, he just overwhelmed me. And guess what? She's less comfortable. She wants to go outside more often. Those things she needs to work through because she will straight dominate the hell out of Higgins. If she behaved the way she behaved with her siblings at home, Higgins would back down to her. I see it with Higgins all the time. He's, he's just, he's all show. But you see, even before those type of things, and I, I would tell you, so right now, mom petting her is fine. But if that would have made her scared, I would get up and, 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 and I wouldn't acknowledge, let her go through it. Don't, don't, don't apply pressure. Don't pull. Just let her. Let her deal with it. And when she sits, then I would praise her. But you know, when we were at Galveston yesterday, and she was freaking out. People were like, pick her up. She's terrified. And I'm just holding her. If you pick her up, you're making it worse. She got through it. Listen, as soon as we got back, she started playing with the dog. So at the house, inside the house, Cute, huh? nothing freaks her out. In of course, back, she's very comfortable. When she would run to the backyard, she, she'd bark. But it was a simple bark of... Yeah, and then run up Hank. to Hank, I bet, and kiss Hank and no, no, no. pester Hank. She would do it so that Hank would come out, and then Hank would so start barking. That's what she does here. So, and I have video of it, yeah. right? That I posted on Instagram stories, right? Yeah, basically, like basically, she's like where, yeah, where like one dog barked, or she barked, she hears something, she would bark, and run up and bark, and then as soon as she let that first bark, she'd turn around, haul ass under me while everybody rushed outside, and yeah. she's behind me. Happy yeah. as hell, she's messy. <laughs> she's messy, yeah. yeah. 
I'm telling you right now, yeah. yeah? That's all she's doing, just instigating, dude. Yeah, yeah. And she loved it. She's smart. She realized that she could do those things. Yeah. So Hank, after a while, He's like she's she just he said fuck it yeah she manipulated me bark motherfucker just yeah bark. yeah shit. yeah because she was and crying or, wolf and he's like or, or they're he, in the he, he he just go as far as to stick <laughs> but, his head but out of the dog yes door, but do you understand that is and then just go back that is back. Hank coming to the realization that I came to she's irrational <laughs> I'm telling you the truth he's just like yeah. she's irrational dude yeah. she barking like when I bark I know what the fuck's up yeah, yeah. when she barks she could ignore it <laughs> do you know what I mean so that's the reality of it. And then we got to the point where we'd come out here, she wanted to bark at everything she saw over here. But she's barking because she wants to tell them, don't, like a rattlesnake. Yeah. Don't, don't come over here. here. And I'm thinking, this is the most social little damn dog in the whole world. You, the weird thing about it is any stranger that comes into her house probably going to get met with a nose in their crotch. Yeah. But it's only like that at home. And it's not because of not, in social, no social. It's nothing. You haven't done anything wrong. Nothing, nothing experienced. It's genetics. It's in her. It's just the way she is. She was taken from her mom. The, only, the biggest factor would be taking her from mom for too early. She has to have faith in you. And, and listen, look at that. She, see that? There, she's proving it to you guys. See, she has faith in me, yes? Good, you're good. What a pretty dog. I know, baby. She never jumps on me like this, by the way. So this is the first time she's doing it. And you know why she's doing it? She feels bold. She's like, daddy's here. Daddy's bigger than him. You know what I mean? <laughs> So that's why she's doing it. But you see what I'm talking about, acclimation? Yeah. Why you guys should just go home and leave her the fuck here? Right? No, but you see, oh, no. so she hasn't done that at all to me. Okay? And look, and instead of saying come here, I would've just said the word good. Look, but she loves me, yes? And listen, I've probably been more disciplined and structured than you guys have been. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I've yeah. put her through more shit There's, than you guys have been. There hasn't been much discipline. That's okay. And you're, I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong either. I, I'd rather a dog not be, Listen, you guys are ideal dog parents, yes? Like, uh, that's why I, mean, I took issue with so, Umbridge so, with people saying that she was abused. Everybody says that about her, and she's not abused. I get, I get people mentioning my comment, man, that a poor dog, she must have been abused. Or, people know already. They have all the answers. I know, but they don't. Brat. This dog's a spoiled brat. I know, she's a hellcat. Brat. She has a reputation. In Spanish, it's called malcriada. <laughs> look, good, 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 baby. And look, I'm gonna turn to my left. Look, she wants to work. Look. Good, good, good. So look, good, good, good. Good heel, baby. Look, good. Pepper. Good, good, good. She's like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> good, good, baby. But you see how she starts walking with me and I start engaging her? If we were off the leash, we do that a lot with them, yes? We do impromptu training sessions. All right? Let's give her a quick and then we'll run her really quickly through the paces, yes? You got a little bit of time for that? Yeah. Right, good, you good. Okay. Huh? You want my dog? No, I'm talking with you because you thought she was going to forget you, but she's crying right now when Mongols put her purse up. She doesn't want mom to leave. And she just went very happily with me inside, but she still, she didn't cry. She cried when she saw mom thinking she was gonna load up. And this is why I don't like people to come visit their dogs. You come visit your dog and you don't take it with you. Like right now, for real, you guys have no choice but to take her. Because if you didn't take her with you, she's gonna feel abandoned. Yeah. See, what we did, I came to pick her up. That's just gonna make her feel like she, she's not gonna ride with strangers. Well, that's how we asked you. Nothing wrong with that, all right? All right, so Cranberry, come this way. I mean, not Cranberry. I'm sorry about that, Anthony. Damn it, Anthony. Oh shit, let me edit that out. All right, I'm sorry about that. I watched a lot of your videos. <laughs> oh no. Like you're about to start cussing at me. Yeah, man. Cranberry! <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, I'm so look, let's that. start off just by walking this way. Don't ask her to do anything. Oh, look at that. Good sit. That's a good sign. See how she sat down so fast? That's amazing. She knows we're about to work. So look, Dad, I just want you to walk that way, please. Don't ask her to do anything. Just start to walk. Good, good, good. She thought she was on a stay. Good. We just want to test her out. So we're not going to give her any commands. We just want to see. Good, you good. Start giving her little nips here and there whenever you think that. Good, yeah, I trust your timing, very good timing. She's not nervous or scared, beautiful. Oh, she's keeping it nice. There, I'd give a little perfect nip. Turn to the left, please. Man, really good, start to slow down. And look, just so you get your cadence right as you come to a stop. See, I knew she was gonna do that. That was beautiful, you handled that perfectly. But let me change it up a little bit, okay? So we'll start to walk, go to the right, please. So I knew she was gonna do that because she doesn't have your cadence down yet, all right? Turn to the right, nip, perfect. Nip, perfect. Nip and turn towards me, please. Now, as you start to slow down, as you start to come to a stop, slow down by 50% and start to apply soft pressure as you come to a stop. Perfect, so you see how she was quick about sitting with me? So in three days or so, after you've done this with her a few times, she'll have your cadence down. At which, apply pressure. Apply pressure. Every time she gets up, you're going to start applying pressure immediately until she puts her butt on the ground. She didn't even get scared there. She just decided, look, she just decided she's gonna get up. She's like, fuck it, I'm not gonna listen. So that's what you have to do. You have to fight that battle. She just doesn't want to listen. She's not used to being still around you, yeah? She wants yeah. to get up. She wants... And you know what? She's thinking, I guarantee you, she thought every time she got up and turned, you were going to go that way. 
She wants to go sniff, apply pressure. See, she's thinking she's gonna go to mom. So she's just getting up and thinking you're going to follow her in the direction she wants to go. Yeah. So you're teaching her different right now. May I say there are times when that's appropriate. She's, she's anticipating. Well, she's right. wanting to direct. Oh, okay. yeah. So this is what's happening, okay? If she was on, a, on an off-leash, go bananas, at ease walk, then of course, by all means, I let the dogs tell me where they want to go. I like that behavior. It's communication. But right now you're in training because if you're downtown or somewhere where you need to have control of her, she needs to have faith that you understand the situation better than she does. That's all you're doing. So if she gets up and starts to move and you allow it, you're just breaking the faith. You're not going to pass the test. And you don't have to be like this all the time. Right. If you take a dog out for a 30 minute walk, I say do this for five minutes. Shit, the rest of the walk needs to be fun, within reason. Yeah. And if the dog starts to get nervous, you go back to this, your foundation, yes? Tell her to heal and start to walk with you, please. Yeah. There you go. And let's go, baby. We'll, we'll suffice in this situation, okay? <laughs> good, good, good. Bye, right. Bye, no man. worries. Turn to the right, please. Good, nip. We're looking for her to mess up. Nip. Perfect, perfect nips. Perfect nips, dad. You handled that perfectly. See how he's not stopping? It's imperative that you continue your walk as you correct if the dog fails to maintain position at your left. Turn towards me, please. Good, perfect. Start to slow down. You're gonna start applying pressure as you come to, that's beautiful. Damn it, that, I see what you're talking about. She almost needs like a, a breastplate there. I see it from this, from this position. Okay, beautiful. Now, she's gonna get up, so put the, it's predictable. Put the entire leash in your left hand, please, and kind of hover it above her head without any play on it. Now, start to walk around her. The moment she rises, you're going to apply pressure. Ideally, good, 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 good stay. Apply pressure, perfect, without stopping. Perfect, Anthony, good, 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 good stay. That's beautiful. So you need to start doing those small revolutions with her, pause for three seconds. Now tell her to heal and start to walk, please. Heal, heal, good, slow down. Start to apply pressure, come to a stop. Beautiful, walk around her, please. Oh, there was a little play on the leash, but you didn't jerk it though. Good stay. Very good. Perfect. These are the things you need to do with her inside the house. If you're on the phone, if you're on the phone talking to somebody that's not necessarily that important, like your brother or something, you know, it's not life, 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 an life emergency, you know, put her, while you're on the phone, put the leash on without talking to her and make her do these steps while you're talking, almost like a robot. She won't understand why. She doesn't need to understand why. People don't need an explanation when they go pray or they fast. They just do it because they're called. She needs to feel that way, yes? Very good, apply pressure. Good job, Dad. Now we're gonna hand her off to Mom. Okay, so Dad, you're gonna tell her to go bananas. Touch her left shoulder blade, you're gonna tell her to go bananas. Go good, go bananas. That's a wonderful, go bananas. Now we're gonna have Mom. And look, Mom, don't give her any commands. I just want you to hold the leash, and if she rises, you're going to start applying pressure. Oh, there you go. You're gonna apply pressure. There you go, that's your girl. Yeah, beautiful. You see that a application of pressure? So before that would have made her yell and scream. I have video of this, yes? She was panicking, but she understands. This dog is a, she bites a lot at home too. Bites her siblings, bite you guys. She bites Maggie here. Yes. Yeah. She's a biter, so she understands this form of communication. So don't feel, don't feel bad for her. And again, this is not an abused dog. In her defense, I bite her back. You do, it's the right way. We nip. There you go, you nip. Very good. Mom, so you're gonna just tell her to heal and start to walk, then you're gonna go in the opposite direction. Turn to your right, please. Perfect, that's beautiful. Perfect nips, perfect movement. Beautiful, very good. And obviously, if I wasn't here, you would be saying the good work, good, 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 whenever she does good things, like nails a turn with you, yes? Good, you're gonna start to slow down, mom. You're going to apply pressure as you come to a stop. That's perfect. Damn it, is it possible she listens to mom better than you? No, you warmed her up, you broke her in. Good, start to walk. I want you to walk four feet, come to a stop. Heel, very good, slow down, come to a stop. How pretty, man. Good, now walk around her. Put the entire leash around your left hand. Walk around, try not to give the leash any place. Here, you made it a little bit tight. You did great. Apply pressure, please. Perfect. So the first one was kind of like a nip. You want apply pressure, constant pressure. There you go, walk around her, please. Lower your leash, lower your leash. There you go, walk around her. If she stands up, you're not mad, you're just going to apply, you won. Stand next to her, please. Good, tell her to heal and start to walk. Good, turn to your left, please. That was your right, that's okay, keep walking. That's, that's, it, it works. Yeah, turn to your left, keep walking, okay. Stop, stop. so the dog, stop, stop. The dog is doing better than you right now. Dude, that's amazing, okay? We're, yeah. matter of fact, gonna call it a go bananas right there, because that dog killed it, yes? Go bananas. So let me explain, I got goosebumps, yes? But yeah, you need, but do you see what happened there? No, but a lot of work for the dog, because you were confused. But she sat down like twice in a row without any pressure from you. She wasn't confused when you got confused, so those are good signs. So you see how I chose that as the moment in time to end it? You wanna keep your training session short and sweet, yes? Good, 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 good. So the next step will be working her with Hank and Coco. So ideally, she comes for some daycare next week, daily, or selectively, whatever days you guys want. 
And then yes, mm, Hank and Coco, whatever. Monday would be great. And then Hank and Coco need to come uh, at least one or two days of the following week so that we can work her around them. You see and, what I mean? And if you want to brush them up a little bit, yeah, we will. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, at we least, will. At least um, with the leash. Exactly. I, I need. I need. I need to be able to. We need to be able to walk all yes. together. Yes. We could, man. We're gonna get there. I, I it's just gonna to, take a matter of time. Yes. I, I would love to be able to walk them all three together and them not going exactly insane. So that day you came and got them. Right. Amazing that they, day. They were. They were doing. They did great. Oh, did they? They did great. I mean, yeah. compared to compared to what it's like. Oh, wonderful. When I'm there. Oh they, yes, they yes. They grab a leash. They go bananas. Like all dogs do. Insane. Right. And quick, one way that you can fix they that is by desensitizing them. They don't them. even want me to put the leash on. They just want to get the hell out. Oh of the yeah, door. that's what they want. Once they love they it. Open the door. They'll, they'll run in the garage or something. And yeah. Fine. They'll stop and wait. For <laughs> that's awesome. But they just want to get outside. Yeah. And like okay, now put the leash on. And, and, go and they're competing with her. And this is very competitive. This yeah. little dog, yes. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna do that. We need to work with each other. We need to work them together, yes? And if you have yeah. a dog at home that needs brushing up or you have three dogs you want to walk at the same time, go ahead and give us a call all across the country. If you haven't already, start following us on Instagram. I appreciate it all. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Paw the bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos. If you haven't seen the other videos in her playlist, check them out. And I got a couple more coming. That being said, please, all your likes and comments and shares, they help. I'm looking for the, forward to the day where I fill this place up with homeless dogs. And I'm funded through marketing and advertising, so it all helps. God bless you all. Good, 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 good. Now that is going to the silence.